ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Adolescence, and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today I'm joined by my good friend Chris. Hey, right, how you doing? Chris also has a channel. I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the description section. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at Gucci Guilty Cologne, but we're also going to do a comparison of some other fragrances within the Gucci Guilty lineup. So make sure to stay tuned. So this is not the most recent flanker. It is the one that's the subject of today's video, but here you actually have a few others, so I'll go through them. There's Gucci Guilty Absolute, Gucci Guilty Oud, and Gucci Guilty Black. I do want to start off by saying that this is Chris's bottle, so thank you very much for bringing it so that we can do a video on it on my channel. Sure, no problem. Awesome, thank you, I appreciate that. And also, this is, uh, it was a fragrance, if I'm not mistaken, that was done under the creative direction of uh, Alessandro Michele. So he is the current creative director of Gucci. Before that was Frida Giannini, and I believe before that was Tom Ford, as a matter of fact. That's oh, wow. when we had like Gucci Porom 1, Gucci Porom 2. Sadly, Gucci Porom 1 is discontinued now, but I have a bottle of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, here we've actually seen a few different perfumers tackle the line. And so the original Gucci Guilty, which came out back in 2011, was made by Jacques Couclier who's also created Angel Men by Thierry Mugler. Some of the more recent ones under the creative direction of Alessandro Michele were made by Alberto Morias, who has made a ton of fragrances on the market, including one of the newest ones, which is uh, Memoir du Nodeur. But being as though this is your fragrance, I would mm -hmm. like for you to start. What do you get from the smell? Um, frankly, from the smell, it is kind of like, kind of like fresh, but it's kind of like, I know people have said it kind of smells a little bit different than the rest of the line. It's not your typical fragrance if you like go to Macy's like Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel. Yeah. It's not in that category. It's a fragrance that you're going to have to have a choir taste for it. It's not like simple like you got to get this. Some people may smell off the first initial spray and think it's harsh. It doesn't smell that good yeah. or off-putting. You know, it's interesting. I completely agree with you. I think it, it's also fresh, but fresh unlike its predecessors. Yeah. So I think the original Gucci Guilty was definitely into that citrus territory, and so is Gucci Guilty Black. As a matter of fact, this is one of my most complimented fragrances wow. ever. It does like disintegrate very quickly. The dry down is not as appealing as the opening, so mm. you can tell a lot of money and attention was invested into the top notes. Mm. But for this, it definitely goes in like a sort of like soapy, even somewhat minty direction, yeah, which I actually little, really like. Yeah. It's I'll put it this way, I like it. I enjoy it, but I know my girlfriend isn't the biggest fan of it, but I do. Mm. There are some fragrances that she's not going to love anyway. And I get Gucci sometimes make fragrances that are a little bit different. And sometimes they're a hit and sometimes they're a miss. So, Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I do think that a lot of people who are out on the market, if you're looking to purchase a Gucci fragrance and perhaps you have another one from the lineup and you think that just by that association, you're going to end up liking it please dispel that yeah. myth because there have been multiple creative directors, there have been multiple perfumers, and a lot of time has elapsed. And when you take a look at some of the notes that govern each composition, like the oud in this one or the smoke in this one, you'll know that these are definitely fragrances worth sampling before you actually buy them. Now, I know, so let's just move over on this side. This okay. one is Gucci Guilty Absolute. So this okay. one is Alberto Morias. And this is one that was kind of like a love or hate kind of a fragrance, yes. right? Yes, I remember the first time I sprayed that. So four, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, this was like strong. It felt like, it just felt like a blast of alcohol the first time I sprayed. I'm like, oh, but I know people do like this one, but you know, yeah, very yeah. different at first for me. You know what it is? I think a lot of people sort of created this narrative that there's like a Band-Aid note yes. or a Band-Aid accord. <laughs> and when when you put your nose after, you know, having that mental image in your mind, sure, it does conjure that. I think that the touch of smoke in here does kind of make it lean into like bad boy territory, like a biker or somebody with like a leather jacket, a little more aggressive, five o'clock shadow. But um, I do think it's a little bit harder to wear. I'm personally not a fan of it. Oh, wow. And mm -hmm. uh, if I do end up wearing this one, it'll probably just be like one or two sprays. But then, like, I don't know. Do you get self-conscious when you wear some like really bold fragrances? I think so. I think if you wear a fragrance very bold or strong that, you know, people may not like, you, I kind of feel scared. I may only do one or two sprays. I don't want to. I don't want to offend anybody when I go out, and yeah. I don't want to be like you stink or want to move next to me or say something that I feel offended by. You don't. You know. You just want to wear some. I enjoy the fragrance, but I do have to wear it where I go at because some people might take it the wrong way. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and I've had experiences too where you know you walk into a room and somebody starts coughing. And you're like, are they coughing because they're sick or because they smelled something? So <laughs> you feel like that attention is on you. 
After a certain point, I guess you stop caring, but... Oh, yeah, that's the longest thing. <laughs> I want to wear the fragrance because I did pay for it, you know, and exactly. just want to enjoy yeah. it, you know. Just be yep. careful with how many sprays you do when you buy a fragrance. Absolutely. And I bought all of these, except for this one, which mm -hmm. is your bottle, so thank you. Um, so for this one, this is Gucci Guilty Oud, and... This is one that I really enjoy. I think this was one of the best releases of that year in which it came out. And it's a very wearable oud, but it also has like this rosy blackberry thing going on in there. Definitely. I'm sorry, I sprayed it on the uh, oh, inside. Sorry. You might still be able to smell it because it's actually quite strong. This one is. Yeah. And um, just for a second, I saw him do a video on this the first time a couple years ago. And oh my God, yeah, yeah. He, showed, he talked about it. Then I went to Macy's and I smelled it. I'm like, oh, I want to buy it. But then I saw the price tag. I was like... It's like 120 something bucks. I'm like, <laughs> I don't spend that much for Gucci ever. I mean, I, I still enjoy it. Yeah. I might have to wait to a discounter, but I do like that one a lot. I've told Steven that several times. Absolutely. This is one of my favorite ones. And I do think that that one is being discounted now. So if you are in the market for Gucci Guilty Oud, it's definitely at the top of my list. And then obviously the other one that I actually really enjoy is Gucci Guilty Black. Oh, definitely. And this one is definitely more on like the woodsy citrusy side, kind of like yeah. an aromatic woody fragrance. Um, but it definitely has that spotlight on the citrus, which you might not be able to smell now because it lasts for like five minutes. This one is really good too, <laughs> but I know I tried. I got to say it two times of this fragrance test before when it was when it was out. And it, I, I really like it a lot, but it seems to fade really fast on my skin. So I'm debating if oh, I want to okay. buy a bottle, but it does smell good for that couple hours I wear it. I really enjoy it. Awesome. It's just hard to want to buy a fragrance like that and got to keep reapplying it but i do enjoy it i mean yeah i actually ended up wearing 40 percent of this wow. one wow so i i love this one but this is such an easy fragrance to wear to work definitely you know you put on a crisp dress shirt you're looking for something very versatile inoffensive an office type of a scent uh, perfect for that occasion so now i must ask you of all of these which is your favorite oh man that's gonna be a tough because these all are good for different uh, scenarios, but if besides the one that I have my own, if I didn't have any mm -hmm. and I could just buy one, if I had the money, it would be Gucci Guilty Oud. Um, nice, yeah. Ever since he did a review on it, he was so happy about it. I'm like, oh, I got to try this out. Because you, somebody's happy, you need to go try that fragrance out. And I went there and I was like, wow, okay, I got I need to buy it now. I want to save the money to buy it, but that's my favorite. I know there's a bunch of Gucci's that are amazing, Yeah, but sure. that's the one I would like to have my collection if, when I, down the road. You know what? That's my favorite too. I think that there's a layer of complexity in this one that you're not going to find in the other fragrances. And despite the boldness of this one, I don't think it's that complex. I just think it has that overdose of smoke. And then the most versatile probably will be one of these two. But I do think that this one is a bit more interesting than this one. But this is probably like my third favorite from the collection or something like that. Definitely should get a sample of these before or go to the store and smell them before you oh, yeah. buy them. You don't want to buy them. And you don't enjoy them, so. Yeah, and for the most part, I think you can find all of these, probably with the exception of this one, because from what I've been told, it's not selling as well as some of the other ones, but who knows. <laughs> but uh, all in all, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm also going to leave Chris's information down below, like I stated earlier on in the video, so definitely make sure to check him out, subscribe to his channel. He's very passionate about fragrances, and so it's always a pleasure to have you on my channel. Oh, so, thank you. Thanks thank you for me. making the trip it. here, of course. Uh -huh. And also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, please do consider subscribing. It's easy and it's free. This way, whenever I do upload future fragrance-related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. Never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. Thanks again. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.